Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh You guys ready for today? Today is obviously a very historic day UNESCO, we are right here right now We've got the MTA vans pulling up right now To obviously give you that exclusive coverage Let's see what happens today So we're in the main building of UNESCO right now So right here we have the wall of peace We've actually got 10 different languages here Since wars begin in the minds of men It is in the minds of men that the defences of peace must be constructed So this is right behind the wall of peace I guess a tree of peace right now This is an olive tree which uh, symbolises peace as well Look at this right here We've got a beautiful garden here It's a Japanese garden Actually donated by Japan themselves so there's actually a, a lot of features around here in UNESCO which have been donated by different countries Guys, we've got the garden from Japan there We've got a bench from Canada A monument here which I'm not quite so sure about A few monuments there from Greece Okay, so this symbol right here was actually donated by the people of Japan themselves as a symbol and a reminder that something like this should never ever happen again of course, referring towards the atrocity that was inflicted on the island where the atomic bomb was dropped in World War II His Holiness is coming here He's been speaking a lot about the threat of a World War III threat of a nuclear war So we are right now inside the main hall where His Holiness will be coming shortly to give the address at UNESCO. But I'm not going to walk around too much here right now. We're actually going to go outside to see what the people think about a caliph being here in France. Let's find out. Mais ça changera. Ça ne va bien pas changer. On a quand même une bonne communauté musulmane. Ça se passe très bien. C'est une minorité. Hein. La paix, ça me paraît mal parti. Parce que j'ai connu la Troisième République. J'ai donc connu, quand les Allemands sont arrivés, j'avais 11 ans. Donc je me rappelle de toute l'occupation et de toute la guerre. Et je trouve que les choses se répètent un peu et ça m'inquiète. His Holiness is coming today. His message actually is instead of spending money on nuclear weapons, we can actually use resources to educate and uh, secure the future. What do you think? I think there is a very close link between education and peace. And it's why I am here tonight, because I think this message I share with all the, the community, which peace and education go together. So the event is now about to start. You've got the guests coming in right now. You've got the uh, cameras set up right behind me. We are going to see now what the message is for today. True Muslims firmly believe that all humans are born equal and that regardless of differences of belief, the values of mutual respect and tolerance must be firmly embedded within society. Je sais qu'il y a eu une grosse organisation, c'était important qu'il soit que se déplace en France. Moi dans un pays aujourd'hui où euh, l'islam est euh, montré du doigt et euh, c'est aussi à nous parlementaires d'aller à l'écoute et de d'échanger avec les personnes qui représentent différents courants de l'islam. J'ai cru comprendre qu'il parlait des enfants, des femmes, donc euh, des conditions un petit peu pour euh, l'humanité. Et déjà, il prône l'amour pour tous et la haine pour personne. Donc rien que ce terme-là, moi, je suis quoi. Yes, I talked with him. He was very kind with me, very friendly, very peaceful. I think it's a, a great man, and we, we need to have a, a great man in the world to be better together. I was introduced to His uh, Holiness, the leader of your community, and we had a small exchange and talk, and we had uh, an interesting and lively exchange. We've actually got the MTA news team doing a live feed very soon, so I think we should catch up with them. I've got Nosher Ron right here, doing the live news preparations. You know what, guys? This is not as easy as it looks. Let me show you the uh, first-person perspective of how it feels to be a presenter. Exactly. Exactly. You can't see anything. It's not as easy as it looks. Well, this is a live feed, but where can our viewers actually catch up with this stuff if they want to watch it later? Uh, it will be up on YouTube on our news MTA News uh, channel, so news at MTA on YouTube. We're doing uh, intro, then you, then you do, uh, introduce last few activities of his audio. Yeah. Okay, we're on, we're on. 10, 9, 8. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our live news special here at the UNESCO headquarters. I'm with Nosher right now, who's actually been presenting uh, the news. But right now, I'm going to take this mic. So now you're on, on this side of the podium, let's say. Yeah. Along the lab, a lot of people don't actually know, but you're actually a murabi. For viewers, let them know why you dedicated your life and uh, what kinds of things you're doing now. Being a missionary, one of the main blessings is, the, of course, being near Khalifa and actually Hazur himself guiding you in every aspect and Hazur uh, paying attention towards where you are 
and from time to time you hear that Hazur asked about you or Hazur uh, mentioned. It's a feeling that you cannot describe in words. Alhamdulillah, that's all we got uh, here in the studio right now. We're not even in the studio and I don't have a studio. Alright guys, Alhamdulillah, that was a, a magnificent day. His Holiness has given a historic address at UNESCO. We caught up with a lot of the guests to see what their impressions are. Uh, we even saw an MTA news live feed, see what, how it really happens. And of course, we're going to come back with more vlogs, inshallah. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And peace be upon you all.